Hey guys, see you Reaper Hunter here. Welcome back to my video. And today I am making a Reaper review on the Black Heart. Now it's crazy to me to think that it's not even the 4th of July yet and I already own a Spirit Halloween 2023 prop. It's really crazy that they put all, not all, but most of their animatronics up on the website for you to order. And I ordered this guy, I think last Thursday, Friday, and then he just came earlier today. But, oh my goodness, he is awesome. I'm so happy to own this guy. I knew from when I very first saw him in the teaser, I knew I was going to love him. And yeah, I definitely do. I think he's an awesome prop. I've been waiting for Spirit to make a Grim Reaper animatronic, a good Grim Reaper animatronic, for a while. I'm really happy we got this guy this year. Here's his box. It's not huge. It's a decent-sized box, but you know it, has, it says the name Blackheart, and what he does here's the side here's the story but yeah this guy is really awesome his cloak is kind of just made of like a silky fabric kind of like the crazy cradle skelly bones material his head is really good it's pretty detailed i love the black ooze dripping out of his mouth I love all the cracks and stuff in his head. His head is made of plastic, which is nice too, because he won't dry rot. And just really good detail. He looks great. I love that face sculpt. And the girl looks really good too. Her face is really creepy looking. It's kind of hard to see just because his um, arm is blocking her head. But you can kind of see, I mean, her detail looks great. You can see like the veins, you know, the black ooze again, the veins in her neck. Her head's also plastic. And what I just noticed when I got her, I didn't even notice this beforehand. I don't even know if it'll pick up on camera, but she actually has like fake eyelashes. You can kind of see it like right there. When I first like saw the video and saw other people's video on her, I thought it was just like painted on, but no, she actually has like real fake eyelashes, which I think is really cool. And fake hair. Her outfit is pretty simple. It's got some black on it. It's Kind of just like a gray tie-dye in a way and then her skirt just matches the rest of the reaper's cloak so she definitely is disguised in there really well and he's just got the typical plastic skeleton hands i think his hand sculpts are really nice those as well and yeah like i said definitely a really big animatronic as well he's pretty tall he towers over me that's for sure so yeah, I guess I'll do a demo of him right now. Don't be afraid. Your time has come. Join me now and forever. We will own the night. Yeah, there he is. I love his audio. I think they did a really good job with his voice. And I think his phrases are pretty solid. I love his laugh too. It's very creepy and very Reaper-like. Yeah, just the overall an awesome animatronic. I definitely recommend this guy. I really, I don't really think I have any complaints with him. I mean, there's not really much to complain about. He's a pretty simple prop, but a really unique concept. I love his concept and just overall, a really nice prop 
super happy to finally own him and finally have another Grim Reaper prop in my collection. So yeah, without further ado, I will see you guys in the next video and look out for more spooky videos.